Now first inning, J.T. Snow, the single to right field. Don't blink, it's 2-0 Angels. Next batter, Garrett Anderson, single to left. One run comes in, 3-0 Angels. Then Rex, the wonder dog, base hit to left. Four for five on the night, Gary D. Sarcina. He drives in Anderson and Hudler with a bloop to center in the first. Six runs on seven hits. Hello, don't blink in this game. Cito Gaston striking the pose. Bottom of two, Chuck Finley was cruising until he gets hit in the heel with that Ed Sprague batted ball. Then he throws it away. What's worse, he would have to leave the game with a bruised heel as Carter comes all the way around from first to score. 7-1 Angels. Marcel Latchman comes out as Finley would have to take off. Angels win the game 10-3. Tony Phillips had two of California's seven first inning singles. Rex the at the White Sox, Eric Hansen, the Reds, sorry they lost him, facing Frank Thomas, the nasty hook. Six innings, six strikeouts, and then the Lord said, let there be rain. It came, it stopped. Frank up again, crushes one, but Tim Nairing is in the leather. Robs Thomas, he's 0 for 2. Bottom of 5, he comes up again, and he would not be 0 for 3. Deep. Right center field, number 25. We have a one-all tie. Bottom of seven after another delay. Here comes Mo, and anything Hurt can do, Mo can do just as well. This one to left gives Boston a two-to-one lead, and so top of nine, Jose comes up, and never to be outdone by the other two heavy-hitting hoes. Knocks in his seventh, and the Red Sox win it three-to-one. Rick Aguilera. Two to one. Here it comes. There it goes. Kurt Abbott launching a solo shot. And after the game, Nomo, through a translator, said that pitch was regrettable. Tied at two. Meanwhile, Bobby Mitt was Bobby Witt was in command in the sixth inning, striking out Tim Wallach for the third straight time. Next batter, swing and a miss. Roberto Kelly struck out the side in the sixth. Witt 12 Ks. In the eighth, still tied at two. Terry Matthews on in relief, in trouble. Roberto Kelly grounds into the 6 4 3 DP. Still not at a two, on to extra innings. In the tenth, Dodgers, two men on for Eric Karros. They're running. He delivers. Into the hole, base hit off of Matthews. Jose Offerman scores. 3 2 Dodgers. They add another run to win it 4 2. Nomo went eight innings. He allowed two runs, striking out nine as the Marlins outs. Billy Swift facing Charlie Hayes gets him swinging. Swift allowed only three hits in seven innings. And in the third, Dante Bichette, here's why he loves Colorado. His 16th homer of the season. All of them have come at home. Rockies up two zip. Top of the sixth, Lenny Dykstra. Going the opposite way, a slasher to left, and here is Dante. He loves Colorado. Loves it even more after that. Beautiful catch. Rockies win it by a final of 7-3, despite a sore shoulder and a three. Swing and a miss, Ryan Klesko. Jeff Blauser, swing and a miss. Nagel, six strikeouts in eight innings. Nagel left with a 3-2 lead. In the ninth, it's 3-2 Pirates. Dan Maselli on in relief. Dwight Smith, broken bat dribbler. Here comes Jay Bell. Throws it away. Chipper Jones scores on the error. We are tied at three. After an intentional walk, loads the bases. Charlie O'Brien smacks it high and deep, and doesn't matter. It's academic whether it went out or not. Missed the grand slam, but the winning run scores. Fred McGriff with the game-winning talent. Talk about his decline. Yeah, there he is. You don't bench Donnie Baseball. He's going to produce, and he's going to provide it in the clubhouse. Second of the year, one nothing Yanks. We love to foreshadow with the lead-ins. Top of six tied at one. Steve Howe against John Nunnally, who has gone shopping at the Gap. Picks up a braided leather belt. Bob Hamlin, Gary Gaetti score three to one Royals. Bottom of six now, Yanks answer. Bernie Williams against Billy Brewer, and that is deep into the Bronx night sky. Two-run shot, 11th for him, four to three Yanks. The very next batter, Mike Stanley. How about back-to-back -back shots? His ninth of the year. Yankees lead it there, five to three. They would win it, eight to four. The final. Mattingly goes three for five. His average now up to a more than respectable 291. His homer was his first in 192 at bats. Kevin Apier has now tried and failed five times to pick up his 12th win of the year. Brewers see their seven-game win streak come to an end. Mariners beat them 4-2 to two in 13. Bill Kruger took a 35-minute life cycle ride during the game, then came in to pitch four innings and pick up the win. First place Rangers at the Indians, and the Indians win it 6-3. to three. Tribe has won 7 of 8 since the All-Star game. Sandy Alomar hits two home runs in a game for the first time in his career, said Alomar, quote, on some teams hitting ninth would be an insult, but on this team it just does not matter. Larry. Over in the National League, Giants and Astros in the Dome. In the first, Derek Bell wants a new bat. That's a pretty good idea. Here it comes. There it goes off of Terry Mulholland. 
Over the fence in left is sixth of the year. Three run shot, three zip Houston. Then in the bottom of the second, that man again. It's Bell. Single to right through the hole. Drives in a pair of runs. Bell going to second on the throw. And he has the major league RBI lead as the Astros are win it easily. 11-4. Derek Bell driving in a career-high six runs. His league-leading total and major league-leading total is up to 70. Giants have lost four in a row. Terry Mulholland has dropped seven straight personally. Mets going for five in a row in St. Louis. Brett Butler, he has been sizzling lately, facing Alan Watson. And look at this. Oh, Brett Butler, not known for the power, muscling up. First of the year for Brett, 54th of his career, two zip Mets. In the fourth, four three cards. Butler's two for two. Now he's three for three. Single to left, Tim Bogar heading for home. The throw from Bernard Gilkey is safe. We're tied at four. But in the bottom of the fifth, five four cards, two on for Darnell Coles. He sends it high and deep. And Aloha means goodbye off Dave Malicki. Three run shot. The Cardinals go on to win at 8 6. Mets winning streak stops at four. Tom Hankey still Mr. Perfect. 21 saves and 21 tries. Alan Watson got the win despite him. The Twins said, Hey, buddy, take this. Kirby Puckett single to left, scoring Chuck Knobloch. Erickson allowed four runs in six and two thirds innings. It was a better day for Frankie Rodriguez facing Cal Ripken. That is the five to four to three double play. Rodriguez allowing one run in six innings. Four two twins in the eighth. Tying runs aboard Mark Guthrie getting Mark Smith into the five to four to three DP. Minnesota turning four twin killings as the twins win at five two. Rodriguez first win in the majors. Kirby Puckett said the twins were mesmerized early seeing Erickson in another uniform but they figured him out the second time through the lineup. Tigers and A's in Oakland. Mike Moore has not won since June 24th facing his old teammates in Oakland. Down. Geronimo Baroa sends it high and deep, and Aloha means goodbye for Geronimo. Third homer given up by Moore this day. 19th on the year, surrendered by Moore. Eck on in the ninth. Strikes out the side, John Flaherty to end it there. 13 of his 15 pitchers were strikes. A's win 6 3. Ron Darling winning for the first time since June 5th. Tigers haven't won since the All Star break, said Sparky. We can't do anything.